Hey everybody, this uh, is estimating quotients. A quotient means division, you guys. You ever see that word? It means divided by. So this is lesson 2-6 in our textbook we're following. And don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Let's, uh, I do have it up. Yeah, here's MrMathBlog.com right there. Let me just go in there. And then um, here's when you first sign on, you come to that site right there. And then you want to do this sixth grade one. This sixth grade for California, I teach in California. This is the one our uh, district is using, but you are following this lesson. So this one will get loaded right down below there. All right, so let's get started with this here. So. So there's our common course strand for our cool teachers, and be nice to your teachers, by the way. And then our, our essential question is, how can we use uh, compatible numbers to estimate quotients, divisions uh, of fractions in mixed numbers? All right, so here we go. So remember, you guys, when we're dividing 24 divided by 6, the 24 is the dividend right there, the 6 is the divisor, and the answer is the quotient right there. So uh, as the divisor gets smaller, 24 divided by 3, notice this is smaller, it makes our answer, our quotient, get larger. And uh, as the dividend gets larger, look here, I'm just go back up here, 24 divided by 6, here we have 30 divided by 6, so as this dividend gets larger, then the quotient is going to get larger. So it depends on, you know, what's getting larger. So when the divisor gets uh, smaller, then the quotient's going to get bigger. And when the dividend is bigger, then the quotient is also getting bigger right there, okay? So and sometimes a combination of the two will happen. And, and, um, and so we'll, we'll talk about that. So here we go. So we have uh, used compatible numbers to estimate quotients of whole numbers and decimals. So we can also use these to estimate quotients of fractions and mixed numbers, okay? Remember, compatible numbers are, are numbers that are easily to compute mentally. So like 20 divided by 5, that's a nice easy division that we can do. So when we get fractions that are close to numbers, we're going to do that. So here we have uh, Susan is making ribbons for an upcoming craft show. Each ribbon requires three and five six inches of ribbons. Okay, see how that's kind of a hard number to work with right there? And she has 15 and three fourths inches of ribbon material. So about how many ribbons will she be able to use? Well, these two numbers are kind of hard to, to do uh, uh, math-wise here. So what we're going to do is we're going to estimate by doing compatible numbers. So which operation should we use and why? Okay, well, this is a division one. Well, for two reasons. This says quotient in here. The, the title of this lesson is quotient, which is division, but it's division because we want to know how many ribbons there are that can make uh, out of the total amount right here. So how many of these ribbons will fit into this right there? And then, um, so how do we know that this problem is requiring estimates? Well, right here, the, it says about how many. So the about how many indicates that we're going to go ahead and just estimate right there. Okay, so let's estimate 15 and 3 fourths divided by 3 and 5 6 using compatible numbers. All right, so let's think what whole numbers are close to 15 and 3 fourths and 3 and 5 6 that are easy to divide mentally? Well, this is close to 16 and this is close to 4. And we can divide 16 divided by 4 pretty easy. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and rewrite the problem using those compatible numbers. Okay, so 16 divided by 4. 4 is 4. So that means Susan will be able to make about 4 ribbons right there. Somewhere it might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less, but it's going to be about 4 ribbons. All right, so here to estimate uh, the same division problem, Mary used 15 and 3 as compatible numbers, and Tom used 15 and 4. Were their choices good ones? Why or why not? Well, remember when we said as this number gets bigger, then the quotient gets bigger. So Mary used 15. So since this number got smaller, then the quotient's probably going to be smaller. Let's see what we said right here. So 15 and 3 fourths is closer to the whole number 16, and 3 and 5 six is closer to the whole number 4. So both will give answers that's going to be less accurate. Tom's inaccurate answer will probably uh, be closer right there, but his numbers are not compatible with the other. See, Tom's, uh, Tom did 15 divided by 4. Well, those aren't really good compatible numbers, but Mary's are compatible numbers with each other. So 
Mary's inaccurate answer, um, although it could be pretty close, you guys. At least it gives you an in-the-ballpark figure. It gives numbers that are easier to divide with, but probably further away from the correct answer. So 15 divided by 3 is easy. That's 5. But 15 divided by 4, that's going to be um, that's a little harder to do that. So let's estimate using compatible numbers here, okay? So, so we're going to go ahead and rewrite um, uh, the problems using compatible numbers. Well, this number is close to 6. Let's say that's 6 right there and then let's do a compatible number like a fraction let's say this is close to four eighths is one half so so five eighths is close to one half right there and then think how many halves are there in six well let's let's do it even smaller how many halves are in one how many half dollars are in one dollar bill there's two of them how about two dollars how many half dollars are in in two dollars four how many half dollars are in three? There's six. So, so how many half halves are in six? You just double that, and that's going to tell us that there's 12 right there. Okay. So, um, uh, I'm going to estimate uh, that this this quotient right here is going to be about 12. Let's do the same thing with this one right here. Okay. So. Um, so 5 eighths divided by, I'm sorry, 5 and 2 thirds divided by 5 eighths is going to be about 12. All right, so let's uh, rewrite the problems using compatible numbers. Okay, 7 eighths is close to 8 eighths, and 8 eighths is 1. So how many fourths are there in 1? Okay, remember when we invert and multiply, did we do that, you guys? We flip this 1 and multiply. Here we could have done this, flip this to 2 over 1 times 6 is 12. So flip this, 4 over 1, remember it's called uh, keep, change, flip. Did I say that in the earlier lesson? Keep, change, flip. So keep that the same. Change that to multiply. Flip that one so it becomes 4 over 1. So 1 divided by 1 fourth is the same as 1 times 4 over 1. So that's going to give us 4 right there. So 7 eighths divided by 1 fourth is going to be a about four, okay? So this estimate lets us say about. It's not exactly four, it'll just tell us it's about four. So will the actual quotient of five and two thirds divided by five eighths be greater than or less than the estimate of uh, estimated quotient right there, okay? So there, the estimated quotient was about 12 right there. There's my principal. So when we divide into smaller dividends, our quotient gets smaller. Do you remember that from the beginning of the lesson? So since uh, 5 and 2 thirds is smaller than our estimate of 6, because we rounded that to 6 right there, our quotient's probably going to be smaller than this quotient is right here. Okay, how about this? Will the actual quotient of 7 eighths divided by 1 fourth be greater than or less than the estimate? Well, remember, we estimated this to be, we rounded that to be 1 right there. And so for the same reason above, which was this right here, um, when we divide into smaller dividends, uh, then our actual quotient is also going to be a, a little bit smaller than that, okay? All right, so explain how we, uh, we would estimate the quotient of 14 and 3 fourths divided by 3 and uh, 9 tenths using compatible numbers. Okay, there's a couple of them, you guys. We can, uh, we can do two estimates here. So first we can round that to 15 and round that to 3. Those are nice compatible numbers. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Or we can round it up a little bit more to 16 and round that to 4, and 16 divided by uh, 4 is 4. So the first estimate from rounding the dividend up, we rounded it up to 15, and rounding the divisor um, uh, down, it's going to make it a bigger one. So 5 is probably too big. And then the second estimate, we rounded the dividend up even more and rounded the divisor uh, up. Uh, a smaller amount, you guys. So it's probably also going to be uh, a little bit too big. In fact, I think it's like 3 point something. So uh, 3.7 or 3.8, something like that. So we'll show you how to do that in a few later lessons right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense and take care.